Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with the NK. Stay frosty. Hey everyone, I'm back at it, this time over at Jack in the Box to take a look at a pretty tasty looking breakfast snack brought to you by a very familiar name. So let's check out the Loaded Breakfast Croissant Stick, brought to you by the makers of Hot Pockets and now available here at Jack in the Box. And as expected, these are nicely fried. I picked up two of these here today, guys. A buck 49 a piece for me here on the West Coast, and I've got one split down the middle. Let's take a closer look at this here. A very nicely fried piece of pastry goodness for sure, guys. You can see it glistening right there. And on the inside, looks like we've got some melted cheddar cheese, we've got some scrambled egg, and some bacon bits are hiding in there as well. But I gotta admit, these are reminding me almost like of egg rolls. If these were a little bit more rounder, they would be straight out egg roll, and I really like that. So let's see what these are working with in the flavor department. It's the loaded breakfast croissant sticks from the makers of Hot Pockets here at Jack in the Box. Let's keep out this flavor. Yeah, this even kind of smells like an egg roll to me right now, and I think it has something to do with the flakiness of this pastry dough they're using. It's very reminiscent of an egg roll, and it's got the same feel as one as well. So let's get into this one, but first things first, if you guys are fans of high quality, delicious looking food reviews, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to tap the bell icon so you can be notified as soon as brand new content drops every week. Here we go, it's the loaded breakfast croissant stick from the makers of Hot Pockets here at Jack in the Box. Mmm. Very flaky. Oh wow. That's a lot of tasty filling for sure. Mmm. Yeah, that egg roll vibe is definitely there, and it's primarily because of how thin the pastry is itself there. It's nice and crispy, nice and crunchy, but very flaky, with a decent amount of filling on the inside. I got a nice bit of cheese in that bite, and the egg pieces as well, too, as you can see right there, are pretty decent. A little bit of the smokiness from the bacon as well. But guys, I gotta be honest, I almost wish these were just a little bit thicker, a little bit wider, and honestly, a little bit more like the old school Pillsbury toaster strudel style back in the day. But these are really, really tasty. I get they're supposed to be sticks, but these are very hearty. Even after that first bite, I'm like, wow, this is pretty tasty. Let's keep going. Mmm. The cheese is rich. I like that. Yeah, one of these is not going to last, and I'm glad that I got two. Mmm. Let me grab the second half here. I am really digging the quality of the flavor. And like I said, it's very reminiscent of those Pillberry's toaster strudels back in the day, the breakfast versions. Little bits of the egg, the cheese, little bit of the bacon bits as well. Pretty much exactly like that, but just a little bit clumped together and stretched out. And naturally with the pastry being much closer to an egg roll, I like that because it's crispy. I get that it's from Hot Pockets, but it really doesn't remind me, like I said, of a regular Hot Pocket because that dough is a little bit thicker. But I like the quality of this, guys. It actually is really tasty. Mm. Yeah, these are pretty tasty, but on the reel, you want to make sure you get at least two of these guys because they're a minimum four biter a piece and they're going to go very quickly. I think you're going to like the flavor of these. It's got all that familiar breakfast flavor from the eggs, the cheese, a little bit of the smokiness of the bacon to go with. But overall, you really want at least two. And it's not a bad deal, especially if you can get them a dollar a piece. Here on the West Coast, they're a buck fifty each. I would still rock a couple of these. They're pretty good. Yeah, this one is almost begging to be a little bit larger overall. I would be so down with a Pop-Tart version of something like this. And again, it would be much closer to the Pillsbury version back in the day. But as it stands, for these being sticks and they're portable, they're breakfast, definitely tasty, guys. And pretty hearty as well. Not bad. So with that said, I'm going to have to give the loaded breakfast croissant sticks from the makers of Hot Pockets here at Jack in the Box a pretty rock solid 8 out of 10. And guys, like I said, if these were just a little bit wider, it would definitely be even that much more heartier because on their own, they do deliver. The flavor is pretty good. Give this one a shot if you rushed them to go in the morning, then you're going to like these a lot. Now, of course, the obvious question is, are you going to give these a shot? First things first, though, are you a fan of Hot Pockets in general because it's a pretty big name? And secondly, if you remember the Pillsbury Toaster Strudel breakfast versions back in the day, what did you think of those overall? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another episode of Peep This Out, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Hey, Hot Pockets, Jack in the Box. Just put two of these together and you've got an even bigger home run than it already is because flavor-wise, it already delivers. Just make it larger. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. But hey, real quick before you go, and just in case you haven't already, take a look at the last review that I put out right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's going to recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.